on the last episode of Danganronpa 2, Goodbye to Spear. Today's case Death Lies in Video Games. Okay, that was right. Alright, guys, and we are back. As you can clearly see, it's time for the class shot. Now, um, like I said, I have a few suspects in mind. Uh, number one. Um, be a little sad. Might be a little sad the way I was for Mondo in the first game, but I really think it's um Fuyahiko. Um, I mean there are a couple of reasons why you know what I mean. Um, second Hiyoko. Hiyoko. Um, I don't know. She was sus. You know, like we saw her. Running away from where my hero was killed. And she was crying. And like maybe she could have been sad. Or maybe she could have been faking that. But it really, I really feel like they were getting close. So I don't want to believe that. And it was making me kind of confused here. Is that she not even around right now. You know. But. You know. Oh and the third person I said was. The very least option was Akane. And I only said that because all that blood that was on her. And I was like, you know, like, um, I just said that because I was like, she had a lot of blood on her. But she said that was from her and Nekabar. So, you know, and I have, I have, you know, of course I believe it. But, you know, just keep the possibility in my head. But I really think it's so. And then, and then the crazy part was, dude's name was Guy F, right? And then you saw Kazuryu in the credits. Like, um, that's, 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 there's no way that's a coincidence. But, let's get it. I've been waiting on this for a couple of days now. The time for unparalleled hedonism has come to an end. Come, now is the time to fight the decisive battle. The hostility of fresh blood, the insanity of a contest of wits. The class trial is finally raising its curtain. So meet up in front of Monokuma Rock. <laughs> Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Now then. Looks like it's time. I guess the invasion is over. So it's finally starting the class trial where our hopes and the killer will finally clash. <laughs> but it's alright. Either way, we'll win in the end. All right. Now then, let's go for it. <laughs> what is he excited about? There's no reason to respond to a guy like that. Anyway, we should start heading over. At the trial field where Monica was waiting. I have to make my case there. There's no escape. Oh yeah, since she said no escape, right? I'm really, I'm about to be on the cusp of buying the third Zero Escape game. Because uh, it's like on sale for like $11. And as you can see, I have Archer the Spare Girls. So uh, yeah, you can, you can expect that next. <laughs> you can expect that next. And then I'll probably play uh, uh, Dunga Ropa 3. So yeah. This, they, they have like a 70% off sale. I was like, what? Don't you just what? Even though I hate Tucko. What? But anyway. No escape. Now then, let us go. As we talked among ourselves, we left the beach house. And my hero's body. Damn. Just to speed things on up. Just to speed things. Just to speed things on a little bit. Well, I thought I could work, but never, never mind. <laughs> so 
How's everybody doing? I hope everyone's having a great day today, no matter where you are. Also, it's here. Oh, 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 hey. Um. All right, let's get it. Let me go help me. What? What? He's gonna do something crazy to me. I'll be running. What? Who are you? Hey, shut up and stay put, you stubborn little Lolita. Stop it! Hey, stop harassing little girls. Why is he picking on her? This is. What's going on? Please. The girl's trying to run away, so Monokuma brought her here by force. Oh, she don't want to go. But Yoko's still trying to run away, so Monokuma's trying to wrap her in a full Nelson. Wow! Look at his hands. If you don't stay put, I'm gonna make you part of this island's food chain. Mm. Unbelievable. Make, <laughs> making me making me waste my sweet ass time, Bruh. But there's another problem to deal with besides this one. Where the fuck is Fuyohiko? That guy. He totally ditched. He totally ditched my appointment. He pisses me off. Ah, ah, ah. Whoa. Is this thing really evolving? Oh my god, I was bullshitting. I didn't think he was gonna do that. I was straight bullshitting, guys. Oh shit, I'm right here. Bruh. Uh-huh. Where did he go? You came. I was worried about you. There's nowhere for me to run, anyway. So no matter the ending, I have to accept it, right? What? But still... Wait, what the fuck is he... What is he talking about? Accepting defeat? What is he talking about? What are you talking about? Are you... Well, it's all good. If the child heats up, it's all good. Anyway... Dude, is he straight up saying, yeah, I'm guilty, motherfucker? See ya later! This is bad. I'm not mentally prepared yet. Like... Do you even have to prepare? Show some spirit! You don't have enough power to harness that latent energy. Come on, bring out that energy. This too So it begins. Causality. The beginning of it. <laughs> now then, let's keep our spirits high. So we can one day find that shining hope. Moving forward is the only option. <sighs> Cause it's bad. Let's go. We can't forget the killer. Listen. The truth behind my hero's death. Sparkling justice may hold the key. No, that just has to be it. Uh. Let's clash shot stuff again. So this time we gotta figure out who killed my hero, huh? I don't get complicated stuff, so I'll leave this to you guys. Bird. You don't unleash your power here. Where else are you gonna unleash it? Don't you wanna avenge her death? What the? You wanna come and change forms? Color me surprised. Hey, hey! Can he be the type to awaken hidden powers when he gets angry? Go on. He's a stuffed animal, right? Damn it! I'm not mentally prepared yet. Like I don't think I'll ever be. But we can't just stand around. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you're right. What a con! <laughs> my hero, why did my hero? Oh, this is impossible. <laughs> I'm a yakuza. I won't hop run. I Bro, it's like he's straight up admitting. <laughs> you should be on it. It's nearly showtime. This is showtime. I. I believe in you. If everyone works together, you should be able to stand against any despair. Ladies. I will definitely help you out. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing to do with this. Then. Let's go. There's no reason for us to waste time here. <laughs> 
<laughs> what are you dilly dally eating for? Come on, let's hurry up and go. <clears throat> well, let's get it. You're so evil. It's such bad taste. The worst, the lowest, most brutal taste. My breathing was short, and I was eventually struck by a feeling similar to dizziness. The moment all of us were inside my room, arrived. We're inside my room, arrived. changing the shit just like he was in the, in the first game. So... I decided to start redecorating. How does it look? Mr. Monokuma's redecoration is awesome, right? Impossible! It's not like I allowed you to think otherwise. That is... To go to the trouble of doing something is elaborate? Really? What is your true intention? No, no! Nothing really. Essentially, this killing game is just to kill time anyway. <sighs> kill time? Yeah! Break away from my purpose. That alone is my purpose. Like... Purpose is only gonna be a weakness. Those who have purpose are always the weakest ones in the bunch. That's why you guys should forget about cheap ass purposes like trying to survive. <laughs> I'm not even gonna read that. It's starting. The class trial is starting. My hero questioned me. The ultimate photographer. She had an unyielding force personality. She was actually very good at taking care of people. Most importantly, she was always straightforward. The person that killed her. Hmm. Is among us. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it, but... Hmm. Regardless, we need to find the answer. It doesn't matter if you, if you believe it or not. Because it's the only way. Aside from finding out who the killer is, there's no other way for us to survive. And so, this life-threatening trial villain with hope and despair has begun. Oh shit, it's blue. Look at that. Okay. Alright. Alright, let's get it. <clears throat> now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened and that person will earn the right to leave this island. Oh. No matter how many times I hear it, it's such a cruel rule. Now then, let's discuss the motive. That masterpiece of gaming, 
Twilight Syndrome murder case! What? Who cares about that game? The outcome of this trial should be determined by whether or not we find Mahiru's killer. Nevertheless, we shouldn't ignore it. After all, that game is the motive this time. Yeah, you're right. Then let's try discussing that first. I'm sure everyone who's beaten the game already knows that it's based on an actual murder case. Some of us have not beaten that game. Give us a detailed explanation. It means Twilight Syndrome Murder Case is a non-fiction game. Additionally, some of us are characters in that game too. Some of us are characters in a video game? So, I think it's better if we clarify who the characters in the game are first. Girl A, girl B, girl C, girl D, girl E, and boy F. The high school girl who got killed at the beginning. Sato. By using the staff role after playing the game as a reference, should be able to figure out who's who. This character the player was able to control was girl A. Girl A was the timid one, right? I see. Girl A is probably Mikan Sumiki. <laughs> Obviously. That timid tone right. definitely sounds like Girl A. Based on the list of names in the staff role, I can't think of anyone else who would be Girl A. Why am I in a video game? That's an infringement of my right to privacy. <laughs> Nasty, trashy pig shit like you doesn't have any privacy rights. <laughs> ah, a nasty, trashy pig shit. I feel like I heard that in the game too. She was girl B, stupid ass. And that's why I didn't like girl B, because she reminded me of this bit. Girl B. I wish it was the girl who died first, goddammit. I see. Girl B was short and foul-mouthed. She's Lee Hiyoko. Short and foul-mouthed? That's like the complete opposite of me! Why the fuck you lying? Why, Why you always lying? Why? Oh my god. Stop fucking lying! Somebody get this bitch out of here. Anyway, let's move on. Next is C. That's a bookie. I see. Girl C is he bookie. Girl C? Then I'll see you next Tuesday. Bruh. <laughs> Tiagi's like, bruh, what? Let's move on to girl D. There's only one person who always had a camera with them. <laughs> I see. Girl D is my hero. The victim in this case. Yeah, that's correct. Let's skip Girl E and talk about Guy F. Ooh. I see. Aren't you Guy F, Fuyuhiko? <laughs> I was in a game? <laughs> that's fucking stupid. <sighs> that reminds me. Wasn't there another person whose last name was also Kuzuryu? Another person? Sister. It was one of the names on the staff roll. Uh -huh. The names were Sumiki, Koizumi, Sayonji, yeah, there were two of them. Sato, Kuzuryu, and then another yeah, Kuzuryu. Kind of like Hold on. Why do you keep saying there were two Kuzuryus? There were. It's not like I'm wrong. That's how it's written on the staff roll. Since you beat the game, you probably know what this actually means, right? It's true, I have a hunch, but to call me out like that, Nagito, you, you're definitely someone I shouldn't mess with. Oh my 
guy. Yo, he had a double roll? Yo. I mean, look, these are obvious, but what if he had a double roll? <sighs> okay. Damn it! Yo, I felt like that would have been it, though. Because that's. They, they do. They do do that. But. I can prove it with this. Obviously. In the game, Guy F. Kuzuriu mentions that he has a little. We don't ever see her, do we? Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, little sister? This is what Guy F said in the game. That bitch. It's pretty clear. There's no doubt that Guy F had a little sister. Mm -hmm. Plus, the sister actually appeared in the game. That's why the name Kuzuriu. Oh, she did pop up. Oh. By the way. What role did Guy F's little sister, the other Kuzuryu, play? You probably noticed, right? She was the first girl. Oh no, what's wrong with him? I really don't want to say it myself, but I need to move the conversation forward. It was the girl. The girl who died at the beginning. God damn. The dead high school girl who was the first victim in the game is the only one I can song. think of. Based on Guy F's tone in the game, it's clear that Girl E is not his little sister. So if the only person left is the dead high school girl, then she must be Fuyuhiko's sister. Why do you sound so fucking happy? That's a winning personality you've got there. <laughs> winning personality? Are you praising me? I was being sarcastic, dumbass. <laughs> hey, you said the game is a work of non-fiction. That means Fuyuhiko's little sister is... Yeah, I have a little sister. Something wrong with that? It's just a fucking game. Don't go mixing up some video game with reality. It's not just a game. It's definitely oh, shit. true events. Oh, shit. Maybe he... So he was lying about his sister? Oh man, because remember you were saying, yeah, my sister will take over the shit someday. He was lying about that? That's why it's the motive. Don't go making shit up, bastard! If she was the type to die easily, I'd have fucking killed her myself a long time ago. Mm. I mean, when I first entered Hope Speak Academy, she, she was mouthing off to me as usual and sent me off. It happened just the other day. Um, about that. You're probably thinking like that because you've lost your memories. And he didn't tell Terror Terror shit. Shut the fuck up! You be quiet! Whoa! Oh, I see. So it's a shut the fuck up! That, that game is based on true events, huh? Okay, I understand your attitude toward this class trial now. Nagito, you seem to be doubting Fuyuhiko a lot. Do you suspect he's the killer? A mystery that easy would make me feel sad. Right. You wouldn't be good enough to serve as everyone's stepping stone. That's why I'd be much happier if Fuyuhiko wasn't the killer. Right. That's why I was like, this is too easy. And it's crazy because I feel like they're going to be pointing us towards Fuyuhiko and Nagito the entire game as scapegoats. And I don't mean scapegoats as in like, oh, this... Or, or, or sacrifice this motherfucker. No, I mean as in we don't call them blame tokens like we're playing Yu-Gi-Oh or some shit. Basically, Nagito and Fuyuhiko come off as suspicious as fuck. So you're gonna automatically kinda go towards their like they did it. But like it's probably never gonna be them. It, it, it's just like they're there to fuck with us. And I feel like that's what's happening. I really think, um, you know, like I said, the fact that he said it was too easy, that's what I was saying. So it makes me think about Hiyoko, because remember we saw that candy. And remember we know she was eating candy. Nobody on this island eats candy, except her. Okay, you're starting to act weird again. Anyway, now we've established who all the characters in the game are. Mm -hmm. Girl A is Mikan. Girl B is Hiyoko. Girl C is Ibuki. Girl D is Mahiru. Guy F is Fuyuhiko. And the first victim in the game, that dead high school girl, is Fuyuhiko's little sister. 
That's just a story in a fucking game. If so, then girl E is Miss Sato. Cody? The same Miss Sato who likes white rice? I don't know what Sato you're talking about. Right. I don't think she's relevant to this case. Maybe it's the Gundam's last name. They're both really plain names. What the heck is that wild? What the heck is that wild connection? Sato may be an ordinary family name, but it's far better than Sato or Suzuki. Whoa, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa now. Wait a minute. Where is this hostility coming from? He also has a strange rivalry going on. No one cares about that. Hurry up and talk about the mystery of the game. Huh? What do you mean, mystery of the game? My, my, you don't know. I heard that girl E got killed. What? Mm -hmm. No mm -hmm. way! Is that true? Getting killed is so violent, don't you know? My, such awful times we live in. Why did this happen? You guys are definitely friends. So the mystery of the game is the murder of girl E, correct? Then let's hurry up and solve it! Let's first figure out why girl E was killed! This is you, bastard. <laughs> girl E was the killer! That's crazy, I didn't wanna- I, I didn't wanna believe that! Damn! I didn't even want to believe that. Killed ...is because she killed the first victim in the game. Damn! Which means girl E was killed as revenge for the dead high school girl. Well, thankfully, Hiko, apparently girl E was killed to avenge your little sister. You're fuck persistent. I don't care what that game said at all. But... But... It, is it... Is that true? Girl E... She, she killed the first victim? Mm. In order to make that clear, we need to know more about the case involving the first victim's murder. It's the murder that occurred in the music room. I knew it would come up, so I prepared in advance. Look, I made a map of the music room's surroundings, which was the stage of the first case. I'm surprised you went to all this trouble. Mapping is second nature to retro game fans. Right. Dungeon crawler RPGs have a first person point of view, so mapping as a basic. We get it! Let's talk about that later so we can focus on the case. And you have to do her like that. Then, I'll start explaining. Girl, girl B, girl C, and girl D were at the entrance hall when they heard the sound of glass breaking. Immediately, they climbed the stairs to the second floor and headed to where they heard that sound. Girl E was in front of the music room on the second floor, and she confirmed that the sound came from in there. But the door to the music room was locked, so Girl D went to get the key from the office. When the five of them were finally able to go inside, they found the victim's body, dead from a blow to the head. Hmm, she looked like Heidi. Because the music room's window was broken, the girls thought the killer escaped through there. The sound of breaking glass that they heard at the entrance hall seemed to confirm that. Plus, Girl E's school swimsuit was stolen, so they concluded that the escape killer was some pervert. How does that sound? Yep, an understandable explanation. Just as expected from the ultimate gamer who excels at clearing games. But it wasn't a pervert, right? Wasn't the real killer Girl E? Obviously. Girl E was waiting outside the music room for the other girls after she killed the first victim. Did she lock the music room from the outside? Then she would have totally needed the key from the office. Which means Girl E was hiding that key. We can assume she used it to lock the music room after she left it. But... Girl D was the one who went to the office to get the key to the music room, right? By the way, since it was never mentioned in the game, we can exclude the possibility of there being a spare key. You can lock the music room from the inside, right? So from there, Girl E broke the window and escaped. 
and sprinted to the front of the music room as fast as she could before the others arrived. She would have passed by the entrance hall where the other girls were waiting if she tried to do that. Then... forget this! It's not cute to see an old guy sulk. Hey, is Girl E really the killer? We haven't reached an answer yet. I killed the first victim in the music room. What did Girl E do? She broke the window in the music room and deceived outside. So, how did Girl E get from outside the school to the front of the music room? To go back to the music room from outside, you. You need to go through the entrance hall. Plus, that's all... The other four girls should have been there. At the entrance hall, the girls... heard the sound of the window shattering. How is Pat... Alright, so... Wait in front of the music room. She probably used a hidden passageway! Oh! Twilight's hidden passageway is the best! What girl he did after the murder in the music room? After she killed the first victim in the music room, what did girl E do? She just broke the window in the music room <clears throat> and escaped outside. So how did Girly get from outside the school? To the front of the music to go back to the music you need to go through plus at the entrance hall. The other four girls should have been there. <coughs> at the entrance hall, the girls <laughs> heard the sound of the window shattering. How was she able to get past those four? And wait in the room. She probably used a hidden passage. Twilight's hidden passageway is the world's best. After she killed the first victim in the music room, what did Girl E do? She just broke the window in the music and escaped outside. So how did Girl E get from out to the front of the music room? To go back to the music, you need to go through the entrance hall. Plus, at the entrance hall, the other four girls should have been there. At the entrance hall, the girls heard the sound of the window shattering. No, that's wrong! First of all, the sound the girls heard wasn't the window breaking. Mm -hmm. If it's the window, then what broke to make that sound? A vase. A vase? How low can you go? <coughs> After the murder, a broken vase was discovered in the classroom next to the music room. Mm -hmm. So the sound of breaking glass that the four girls in the music room's window <coughs> was the sound of the vase breaking. Probably. Actually, the murder was nearly finished by the time the four girls met in the entrance hall. Girl E killed the victim in the music room. 
broke the window, and went to the office to get the key. With that key, she locked the muse hallway, returned the key to the office, and went back to wait in front of the music room. All she had to do was break the vase in the next door classroom as the four girls met by the entrance hall. To make them think the murder had just occurred and that the killer had just escaped. So, when the four of them ran over after they heard the sound, Girl E acted like she had just rushed over too. I see! Now the mystery has been solved! Wait a minute! The mist hasn't been solved yet! You haven't determined what the murder weapon was yet! Who cares about the murder weapon? We found out who the killer was! Not cool! To all the trouble of making this death march, so you gotta stick with it to the end! What the heck? You're so annoying! Fine, let's figure out the weapon. Up, oh, I'm gonna feel like I need to sh- <laughs> Which means I'll feel disgusting! You're the disgusting one! <laughs> the weapon is pretty unconventional! The answer was revealed in the game, though. Now then, will you guys be able to figure it out? What do you think? I have no idea. Was I out of line just now? Now then, there's something I need to tell you regarding the white noise. Sometimes the white noise are actual, actually very durable. Oh my! Durable white noise will chip away, but unless you completely destroy them, your time limit will not be replenished. By the way, if you difficulty to set the gentle white noise won't appear. <laughs> Heard this guy named Gun something. Apparently, he has a skill that can increase the power of the silencer. Gun something. I wonder who it is. Well then, good luck and have fun. So, what, what could it be? Um, a broken fish the music room, huh? Nah. What about broken glass? Uh, Is it death a blow to the head? Uh huh. Then she attacked her with the fish tank. Okay, so he said it was an unusual it's weapon of sorts, weapon. right? Then the piano. Why are you going even bigger? The investigation conducts universal chaos. It's on that big a scale too? How about beating her with gravel instead? Damn, it's like that would be right. Like, I, I think she's right about that. I just don't know. Wait a minute. Cause it said it. Wait. Wait. This was small. She was killed. If she killed by beating her with gravel, it would obviously have blood all over. Damn it! Hmm. A weapon inside the music room, huh? Let's 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 look at all the options. It's weird, cause I I think what Abuki is saying is right, and I'm just not sure how. with the fish tank. No. That's too big to be a weapon. Then the piano. You know what I think? Even bigger. What if they used a swimsuit? The conducts universal chaos. What if they used a swimsuit scale to too? put like gravel in it? How about beating her with gravel instead? Nah, that. It's a weapon right? that was used to beat them to death. It should have had blood stains. I don't know. This is hard. Is blood stains on it? I don't get it. She beat her to death with her fists! I don't get it. So, an unconventional... An unconventional weapon. It appeared in the game, but... There's nothing that points to a weapon on this list! I don't get it. And the only thing I'm thinking is... Is that... Is that... Well, let me stop. Is that... Um... There's nothing on my list. Nothing. Like, what if 
they used it like a bag? She had her swimsuit stolen. Yo, this is probably what she used. She committed the murder with. Oh my god, I never read that until now. It could be. It could be this. The stolen swimsuit. What about broken glass? I doubt it though. Let, let's try that on the book. Isn't the cause of death a blow to the head? She's saying it like it kind of makes sense, but I, I don't know. Big to be a weapon. I I don't know. I seriously don't. Then the piano. This is like the hardest. Like I have no idea. even bigger. I don't have a clue. Universal chaos. Cause there's nothing on this as a weapon. too. How about beating her with Gretel instead? What? <laughs> Bro, how? Bro, wait. I got it. The killer must have used gravel to attack the victim. Okay. My goodness. I got it right. And I was just throwing things out there. <laughs> just as I thought. I'm chosen by the gods. You're not chosen at all. And gravel is impossible. It's too small to be a weapon. What if the gravel was put inside some sort of- A bag, see that just said. Oh, wow. That? What kind of bag? It's not actually a bag. If the weapon is something that appeared in the game, then so is the bag. Right. And the only thing I can think of is the school swimsuit. Right. If you tie the swimsuit like a bag and stuff it full of gravel, right. it's an effective weapon. Gravel inside the swimsuit? <gasps> Even the ace attorney would be astonished by such a fantastic idea! She just said ace attorney. Was that a Phoenix Wright reference? I doubt it, but jeez, that's crazy. But for the killer, it's an idea that kills two birds with one stone. <laughs> to make people think the killer is some pervert, it makes sense for a school swimsuit to be stolen. Right. And if that swimsuit was used to make an improvised weapon, it'd have to be disposed of later. How about it, Monokuma? Are you satisfied now? This happiness you feel when the mystery you create is solved. Only producers know this feeling of ecstasy. So, that was actually... Was, I had no clue what it was. Um... We don't... God damn. We're gonna go just a little bit more. But the real important talk begins now. Girl E had someone who can be called an accomplice. <clears throat> that person was actually Girl D. Oh, you know what's crazy? Remember my hero was talking about a fucking report, right? Girl D. You're talking about my hero. Remember she was saying that, right? Huh? My hero is the accomplice? What is this? What does that mean? The piece of face that became an important clue in the music room murder. Earl D got rid of it. It's okay, I'm not sure that wow. Apparently the reason Girl E committed murder in the first place was to protect Girl D. Girl D was being harassed by the victim. Girl E found out and tried to stop it. And they ended up getting into an argument. And she felt a rush of anger, and ended up killing her. But she should have had a clear murderous intent. I mean, she choked her out and then bludgeoned her to death. She probably made her unconscious by accident. And from there, she couldn't go back. I, I somewhat understand that feeling. You can? That's pretty scary. But Girl E was also killed by someone on the fourth day. Or the game's last day. I might as well ask just in case. Who do you think killed Girl E? This is that guy. <laughs> I see. I remember just dead ass giveaway. It should have been F. That fish. That I'll never forgive her. A scenario where Guy F murdered <sighs> out of a burning, hellfire desire to avenge his murdered sister. But, but, Guy F is... What? It's just a story in a video game, isn't it? That's all you can say. Mm. 
<gasps> that game is telling the truth, it'd be a huge problem for you. Wow. Hey, clear this up for me. Those who appeared as characters in the game, do you remember this incident? That is, I'm terribly sorry, but they don't remember. That's obvious, because their school memories were like totally stolen. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and end the episode off here, guys. And when we come back, we're gonna continue with the class. And when we come back, we're gonna continue with the class trial. That um, that was uh, <laughs> woo, Jesus, dude. That that I, I couldn't. I had to literally think about that for a good minute. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and end it right here. When we come back, we will be back with the rest of the class trial. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until then, I will catch you guys later. For more, Donna Roper 2, goodbye despair. Wow.